So thank you once again, Miss Griffin, for the project. And I want to go over the scope of work with you right now. On the front of the house, we're going to be doing a smooth lap, an eight and a quarter, so you'll see seven inches of the lap. And it'll be a smooth texture, as well as smooth trim on the house, and a smooth um, hardy fascia with a smooth drip board that goes right up next to your shingles. We'll get rid of these faux beams here, and we're going to be tearing off the siding, going up with a 7 16 OSB, putting up a Tyvek moisture barrier, and then putting the trim on first, and then putting the lap siding up to that trim for a butt-two application that doesn't allow any of the um, laps to have big gaps in next to the trim. So it'll seal it up real nice. Um, we're going to be coating the garage door, coating the garage door frame, and coating the soffits. So your soffits will actually stay lumber, but they do not need to be replaced. And uh, we, can, we can put some uh, gel max to prep that surface, then power wash it off, prime it and paint it with the rest of the project, and it'll look great. Um, here we've got a pocket on the front door area that has got a little bit of the smooth lap siding in it, and here up here above these two windows in the front of the house. These areas that have the um, windows with the cedar around it, we're going to take that um, cedar off and make it a square all the way around the, the, um, the windows. And then we've got um, fascia overlay around the complete house. Here on the left side of the house, we've got a little bit of siding here and this will be um, matched up with the corners. Right now you've got this staggered lap edge on your siding. We'll clean that up to give you more of a smooth look with the kind of clean lines that you'd like with by putting smooth 1x4 corner and then butting the edges of the siding into it so you don't have this kind of, um, uh, this kind of prairie type look here. We can really clean it up and make it smoother with some trim on the edges. So we'll put the trim on the corners and it'll be the same trim that's around your windows but we won't be going up to the soffit like they did here with the cedar from the window installation. We'll be taking that, that cedar off and putting up trim all the way around each individual windows and then butting the siding to that, to that trim for a really clean look. Here on the right side of the house, you can really get a good look at that chimney that we'll be taking all the siding off, putting up 7 16 OSB, Tyvek moisture barrier, and then um, then uh, hardy trim and hardy siding. Before we put the moisture barrier up, we're gonna check the flashing around the perimeter of the chimney, making sure that it's flashed properly. And we will put a uh, four inch roll galvanized flashing around the edge of the bottom of the OSB so that the water won't wick up the, uh, the OSB. And then on the, on the rest of the areas that we're putting the OSB on, the uh, Oriana strand, we'll be able to put the, uh, a half inch, because it's 7 16 OSB, half inch, um, L flashing that goes an inch and a half up, back and back toward the uh, rock of the house to protect the bottom edges of all the OSB that we're installing. We'll put the Tyvek moisture barrier over that, put the hardy trim and hardy siding. So everything on your house will be hardy on your walls from the freeze board, which is this piece of trim right here that butts up against the soffit, on down the wall. We're going to leave the soffits in lumber but coat them really nicely and prep them. And then we can replace this free freeze board, I mean this, uh, this fascia right here replace the fascia with a three quarter inch fascia and it'll be a, a, a one by six by James Hardy and then a one by two for the batten board that, that surrounds the perimeter of the house. We can stop the fascia um, replacement right here at the patio cover because we're going to leave the patio cover alone for right now. Even in the painting process we will not be painting the patio cover because we may want to change that up at a later date. Here on the back of the house and this side that you can get a good look at we're going to be doing the same scope of work, tearing off the siding, putting up 7 16 OSB, making sure we have proper flashing down toward the um, where the siding hits the, the roof right here. Then uh, putting on a Tyvek moisture barrier, hardy trim around all the corners and windows and freeze board. And um, then our hardy lap siding. Now remember that the hardy trim is going to be a smooth, so it'll give us a real clean look. And then the hardy um, lap siding is also going to be a smooth and an eight and a quarter profile that you'll see our end result of a seven inch lap. So that's the scope of work back there. Here's that patio cover that we won't be doing anything to. And we need to clean up the trim around this um, previously installed Permashield Anderson door. So let's make the trim go over to the rock and then let's mortar in that, that trim into the rock so it'll give a really clean transition between the hardy trim and the rock there. Um, let's do the same with this door over here and make sure that hardy trim really butts into that brick uh, really nice that rock nice and has a good transition with that mortar 
So here's the door, and on the interior of the door, when it was installed, they have some coil capping right here that's screwed into the um, side of the sheetrock. So what we want to do is take the take the trim and let's put a wood return on the door, and then we'll put a wedge casing that's two and a quarter inch over the um, the side of the the, the sheetrock and that wood trim, and then paint both of that. So let's do a wood return, and on here you can see the corners have um, had that casing on. Here, let's go to this other side. So it's got that this this coil cap that's screwed in. We'll put a wood return here, bring that two and a quarter inch to, to it ends up hitting a little bit over the lip that's right here. So we'll do a wood return and then the two and a quarter inch casing up here so that it won't hit the brackets as we go along the top.